hello, hello, hello. How are you? This is Elle's Company from Bemo's Crafty Corner. And today I have this for us. Uh, this is a semi-gusseted pocket with da -da 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 -da, an accordion journaling card. Yes. Um, and it just fits right in there. And then you can glue this into a, into a journal. And I've reinforced everything and... You know, just made this one super super simple so best part you can do the whole thing at a one piece of cardstock and uh, like one sheet of scrapbook paper or decorated paper and some scraps basically so I'm going to get all of the supplies together and I'll be back in just a minute to give you a supply list of all of the tools and things that you may need for this okay be right back Alrighty, so basics. You're gonna need a trimmer, some scissors, scoring tools, scoreboard, bone folder. Corner rounder is optional. Uh, let's see, what's the next thing we're gonna need? Adhesive, preferably glue, but you could use tape, you know, to put the mats and stuff down. And an envelope punch board. If you don't have an envelope punch board, don't worry about it. Uh, just get out like a half half inch circle, three quarter inch circle, and, or you know, whatever you have as far as circle, and we'll work with that. Okay? I'll show you how to do it. You're going to need one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and one sheet of decorative paper. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut down uh, some pieces. I'm going to be back to give you some measurements. Let me get everything kind of moved out of the way so I can work here. And I will be back to give you measurements for all the pieces you're going to need, okay? Be right back. Okay, so we are going to need two pieces of cardstock. The first one is going to be um, 5 by 10. And then the second one is going to be 6 by 10 and a half, okay? So let's start with the bigger of the two pieces. And that's going to be um, this piece. All right. So this one's pretty easy to do. I'm going to score this one at three and a half and seven. That's it. Three and a half and seven. Okay. And we'll put it to the side. All right, so now we're gonna do the other piece, okay? This is the one that's five inches, five inches by 10, and on the long side, we're gonna give this one score at three and a half. That's it, right at three and a half. Then we're gonna turn it, and we're gonna put the short side in, we're gonna score at half an inch, and then one notch over, okay? Which is five eighths. We're gonna turn it around, we're going to score it a half an inch again, and one notch over, which is five eighths. Okay, that's it for this one. And that is it for the scoreboard, so we're going to get rid of that. All right. Let's deal with this one first. This is the one that we have the two scores, three and a half and seven. All we're gonna do is kind of accordion fold this. We're gonna fold one back. We're gonna line up our edges, burnish that, and then we're gonna fold the other one forward, okay? Again, we're gonna line up our edge. And we'll burnish that. So you should have a piece that's folded like that. Okay, little Z. That's what we want, okay? Now, if you want to round on this one, <clears throat> you're gonna round your corners here. You're gonna have some folded corners and some open corners. So just go ahead and round all of those
and then we can set this to the side because we're not ready to use it yet. Now we're going to look at this one. Okay, so on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to fold our pocket at the three and a half inch. We're going to fold it up. We're going to match up our sides and we're going to burnish our fold. And then we're going to fold in on these two score lines. We're going to fold in on the inside one, okay? So you have two score lines. Let's see if we can get this to focus. We have one here and one here. So for now, we're just going to fold on that inside one, okay? We're going to burnish that. <clears throat> then we're going to open this up. We're going to take our scissors, and we are going to cut a little V right at this fold to that score line that we folded. a little V. Okay, so you should have a piece that looks like this. Two little V's, single fold. Okay, now we're going to take these on the long side and we're just going to glue these down. Okay, and I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit so you guys can see better. There we go. So we're going to glue here, fold this in, and I'm just using my bone folder to kind of press that glue down, and smoosh it around. Okay. And then you should have a piece that looks like this. Turn it over, and this is what you should have round the top corners if you are rounding your corners okay now we're going to take the one that's on the bottom and we're going to fold it the opposite direction now okay so we're folding it in and then we're going to fold that second one if you're having problems folding the second fold put your ruler up against it okay Fold, fold, okay, all right, so we're going to stop at this point, we have two base pieces, and we're going to cut some mats. All right. I have them. Ha, there they are. All right. So if you look at this on the prototype, you're going to mat here and here, here and here. Now you can mat this if you want to. That's entirely up to you. You're going to mat the back and here. Let me show you on the prototype. So on this part, we have this part and this part. And then on this, you can see where I've mounted mats to the outsides, front and back. Okay. So 
So you need a mat for here, a mat for here, and then you need four mats for this, six if you're going to do the inside, okay? So let me give it to you. So on this one, you're going to need four or six mats that are five and three quarters by three and a quarter. So watch your directions. Okay, if you have paper that is extremely directional, make sure you got it going in the right direction, okay? You don't want flowers going sideways or, you know, you know, okay? And then on this part, you're going to want one piece that is six and a quarter, three and a half. Now, if you're using scraps and you can't go the whole six and a quarter, just make sure that the piece that you're using comes down you know, into this a reasonable distance. So at least four and a half inches would be good. But you need the mat to be at least three and a half inches wide. And then you're gonna need a second piece that's three and a half inches wide by three and a quarter, okay? So you're going to cut four mats. Let me get this out of my way. Four mats that are five and three quarters by three and a quarter for this part. Then you're going to cut one mat that is at least four, but six and a quarter by three and a half, and one mat that is three and a half by three and a quarter, okay? Once you have those all cut, you're gonna round the corners on these for this piece. You're gonna round the top corner on this for this piece, and then we're gonna do something different with this, so I'll be right back to tell you what that is. Okay, so this little piece is um, what we're gonna be using the envelope punch board for. So we're gonna put this on here where we need it to be side to side, but we're gonna make the top flush. Put it into your envelope punch board wherever you want, and punch it, and leave that divot. Okay. If you don't have an envelope punch board, you can accomplish the same thing with a small circle. Just go about three quarters of the way into the circle and punch and you end up with the same idea. Okay. And then all you're going to do is take your cutter, and you can do this by hand if you need to. Um, or you can do this on, you know, your cutter. If you have this type of a cutter, it works really well. You're going to put this in so that the blade rides right there. And then you're just going to cut until you feel no resistance. <clears throat> and that's going to give you that look. Okay, that file folder look. All right. So now around this corner real quick and I'm gonna go and ink all of these okay all my mats I'm gonna ink them all and as soon as we're done inking start the video back up and we will do the final assembly on this okay be right back fantastic job so now we're going to um, start the assembly and so we're gonna work on the base piece first okay so that is this piece. We're going to do that first, okay? So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this piece down in the back. Now, the measurements for this are always, as always, going to be in the description box below. So if you didn't catch them, don't worry. You can just go down to the show more section and you can pull all of the measurements for this, okay? I cut these panels to be an eighth of an inch all the way around but if you want a little bit more by all means 
change the measurements. It's entirely up to you. All right, so an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna get an eighth of an inch at the top, an eighth of an inch on either side. And I'm gonna put that down. And then I'm gonna bring this piece up before I do any connecting. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. You would think after all this time I would learn to fill up the glue bottle before I started a project. Nope, never do. Okay. And this goes right on here. Again, eighth of an inch all the way around. There we go. Now, you're going to put glue out here to the score line. So we're going to leave that thin strip. And we're going to glue this so that that edge right there, you can see it's like an eighth of an inch, goes up against here. And if you have a flat bone folder, you can go in there and kind of use that bone folder to press that down. And then we're gonna do the other side exactly the same. We're just gonna put our glue on. Put this to that quarter, to that eighth of an inch, press it down, and then we're going to use our bone folder to flatten it out. While the other piece dries, we can go ahead and get this started. So all you're going to do here is just kind of figure out, you know, which one you want to go where. It, this one I cut so they all have this little detail on them, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you can put these down with tape if you want. There's no stress on these. But I have the glue out, so that's what I'm going to do. And again, I allowed for an eighth of an inch all the way around. I'm going to do the front and the back here. And then I'm going to do this side as well. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like when it's all done. So there it is! It's done! And you can decorate this any way that you want. Uh, I decided to add some vanilla cardstock in here, uh, just thin you know, cardstock, because I just thought, you know, if somebody wants to, like, journal in here or something, uh, this is a little dark, 
in places. So I thought I'd add something light to the center here. And so I went ahead and just did that. And that just slides right in to the pocket. And there's still plenty of room there. This is the original one. So you can see two very different looks uh, from the same project. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comment section below or you can email them to me or you know hit me at my Facebook group, whatever works for you. And um, as always, again, all of the measurements for this are gonna be in that description below as well as all of my contact information. So, if you're new here and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that red button for me and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell, share me with all your friends, and your friends can be my friends, and my friends can be your friends, and our friends can get to be friends. Before you know it, we have a giant crafting community. I go live on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 11, 12, and 1 across the country and the rest of the world. I don't know. I, um, let's see. I release videos on Mondays and Wednesdays, and... Starting in January of 2022, I will be doing a free class, journal with me, build a journal with me, starting with a little golden book and moving into a repurposed, upcycled book cover, and then of course building our own from scratch. So if you would like to join me, that is a video class that gets released every Saturday morning. and. At about 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, boy, um, which is 6, 7, and 8 across the country. I do go live in a StreamYard Live so that you can come on and ask me any questions that you may have. Unfortunately, if you view that video after the original release date, you will have to just kind of email me the questions. So that is it. That's all I have for you. Until I see you again, stay safe. Bye-bye.